Imagine a world where electricity only came from renewable sources. Imagine buildings, neighborhoods, even towns capable of balancing consumption and local production of electricity. The technology of smart grid is one of the most promising alternatives to current wasteful energy practices. Professor Paolone of EPFL explains how these futuristic electrical distribution networks are going to work. Aujourd'hui, ces réseaux ils sont complètement stupides entre guillemets. Today, electrical distribution networks lack intelligence. The research we are carrying out in my laboratory, hosted in this smart building, is strongly associated to our attempts to make these networks operate in a flexible and intelligent way. This is an active building, in the sense that it is able to produce more electricity than it uses. The excess is stored in various ways. These forms of storage are different for different timescales. An array of high-performance batteries for the daily compensation and an electrolyzer coupled with a fuel cell that stores energy in the form of pressurized hydrogen and oxygen, allowing for the storage of large quantities of energy over long periods. In order to explain why we are interested in bringing together massive renewable sources like solar panels, my research focuses mainly on developing algorithms for managing distributed energy storage systems and flexible loads within the context of the smart grid. In good weather, the solar panels produce lots of electricity. An algorithm will therefore take the decision to store it. If clouds arrive, the algorithm will ask the storage system to release the accumulated energy immediately. The solar panels you can see here are essentially the only source of energy that we use in order to power up this building. In order to explain why we are interested in bringing together massive renewable sources like solar panels, here is an example. This quantity, this cube, represents the primary energy consumed every year on our planet by humans. Let us compare this with one of the limited fossil resources like oil. The energy that is still available on our planet in the form of oil is represented here. That means that if we only use oil to meet our energy needs, we will use up this resource in a few decades. On the other hand, if we compare this quantity with the energy made available by the sun each year, it could be represented by the building I am standing on, the intelligent building we developed at EPFL. We may no longer need fossil fuels. Solar power can replace all the energies we have used up until now. But in order to do this, we must change our basic understanding of the distribution of electricity. We have to think in terms of networks. <laughs>